It's uh, uh, very good afternoon to one and all. Uh, uh, nice uh, meeting uh, you uh, for the next session. Uh, like um, the topic today is a really very uh, challenging topic, and it's uh, need for the uh, team building skills in higher education institutions. So uh, today, uh, my focus is towards uh, the learner side. We uh, being uh, faculty. As this is a faculty refreshing program, so we being the faculty, uh, we can just share our uh, uh, ideas, like uh, how we can develop these skills in our classroom among our learners. Uh, before getting into the topic, uh, we, uh, from the side of the faculty, uh, we could find uh, uh, this. Uh, skill, team building skill, uh, works to a great extent amongst us. Uh, we being a part of the department, so we could find that this skill helps us to a great extent in all the academic, co-curricular activities and the smooth functioning of the department. So uh, uh, this, how can we inculcate these skills? Uh, with our students is what I'm going to discuss uh, from the side, as I said, from the side of the learners. Because learners are our real, uh, what do you say, uh, uh, specimens in, uh, of experiment in our classroom. So whatever we do, the beneficiary is ultimately our student community, so learner community. So in that case, uh, how can we inculcate this and what are the uh, benefits of doing this? Uh, since uh, if we could find like uh, this is something we can uh, uh, only with a particular uh, uh, specific subjects, uh, there are certain uh, discussions like this cannot be done with all the subjects, with all the classes. So only few subjects this can be handled with all those. So in that case, how can we do this? Uh, before getting into this, let me begin with the definition of this topic. So how would we define this team building skill in higher education institutions? So this is actually a process. It's not something that happens overnight. It is an ongoing process. When we say something is a process, we use the word process. It means like we are going for a step by step way of achieving it. So naturally, team building also comes under that category. So it is an ongoing process that helps a work group. So not essentially a team building. Whenever we use it, this term team building, there is a notion that this is something connected only with the workplace. Of course, but workplace team building demands certain qualities, certain competencies from the students, which could, which should be in, uh, invited, which should be practiced right from their uh, I mean, uh, from their classroom. So that is what I'm going to focus today. How can we get about this in our classroom? Team building, as it is essential, how can we get along with this in our classrooms so that we equip our students, our learners in such a way that when they complete their course and need, they are uh, uh, they are competent enough in the working environment. So, uh, uh, as we all know, it is it is a work group that evolved into a cohesive unit. And uh, team members, we not only share the expectations, uh, basic thing is trust. So trust amongst members and the support that is extended with each other and the respect that we show apart from individual differences is what is what forms uh, the term team building. Uh, I just want to begin with a, a very good. Quote 
from an educator, a leadership educator uh, at the Michigan State University. So what he states, uh, it's, he explains the value of team building activities. So team building activities are very, very essential for students. So in what way this helps, according to him, an educator, so what he feels, the lines that you come across is his words. So guiding group members through intentional games, that is what is important, intentionally we do it, because we want an output for it. So this can help them improve their communication skills with each other. So this transfers their uh, club activities. So of course, every one of us will do our own apartment clubs. So this paves way for uh, including the club activities. And these activities in turn, it develops the active listening, machining assumptions, so uh, directions, problem solving skills, and learning like how to uh, ask effective questions, like instead of asking irrelevant questions. So these sort of, when we uh, may pass to our learners in these sort of activities, we make them to be effective question uh, raises. That is what is important. Uh, they, these days, and even after the uh, pandemic, we find today's students' question is uh, uh, irrelevant question, posing irrelevant question and putting us, uh, not only us, even the classroom in a very embarrassing situation. So these could be avoided if we are able to make them involved in certain activities so that they become certain refinement points. So uh, the next. Uh, uh, this is a small uh, diagrammatic representation so of team. So team building, how do we drive? It is something like a cycle which we could find on the screen. So team communication, team behavior, team spirit, team mindset. So these four are the uh, basic uh, 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 strategies that we are going to focus whenever uh, a team is being built. So when we talk about first communication, effective communication, team communication is ultimately effective communication. Effective communication, we can we have like certain points here which you find on the screen. Active listening, disciplined dialogue, giving feedback, crucial conversations, influencing styles. So these are certain important uh, outcomes of team communication. The next what you find is act uh, i mean uh, effective behaviors team behavior what we call uh, so these uh, how to meet procedures how to align how to make decision how to solve the problem how to resolve uh, a, a conflict so these are all certain behavior patterns that the students learn when they are in a team and uh, the next is the mindset uh, now that uh, we could find uh, after pandemic, there are uh, before pre-pandemic and post-pandemic, we find that there are there is a drastic change in the mindset of the student community. So in that case, certain so activities like this when they are put up in a team can remold their mindset. In that case, openness to others, so appreciating, sharing prioritizing, engaging, so all these could be developed. Coming to this uh, spirit, so when you talk about spirit, the basic quality is trust. So trusting team members is very, very essential because it's a fundamental of any achievement. Next, confidence, developing confidence, sense of community, like joint commitment, a sense of commitment, a sense of belongingness, reciprocal, so when, uh, when when a student is being put up in a team, so naturally uh, they can find like uh, uh, they, they they develop indirectly, directly or indirectly, they develop certain amount of uh, commitment with them, uh, with the team members. So in that case, uh, it helps them to achieve uh, to a great extent. Next, uh, what we come up with is uh, a power. So what is the power of this team building? So when we talk about power, so everything has its own, uh, uh, what we call positive side. So positivity is of team building. So in that case, positively charged leaders. So it paves way for good leaders. Yes, 
and it increases employee retention. So that is very, very important, employee retention. And it improves problem solving skills. So uh, you changes, motivation level. So motivation, when we talk about this term motivation, students, when they are put up in a team, uh, naturally, uh, it uh, creates a certain, certain amount of motivation that we can find an increased level of motivation among the students. That is, uh, they are being in a mixed, uh, they are where, where there are mixed students. So in that case, uh, motivation level naturally happens. The increase in the motivation level naturally happens. So this in turn improves their creativity and productivity. And uh, the next stage is it improves the internal communication. So motivation clubbed with creativity and productivity and leads to good communication. So this is very, very essential at this two level. So how the process gets along, the steam building process we talk about, how does the process gets along is identify the need for team building. First to begin is why, why do they need, why do students, the learners uh, need to be in a team? Next is define. So they define, make them clear uh, what are the objectives and what are the required skills for them for the team building. The next step is the role. Their goals being a team member. So, what are their roles in a team? Next is determine a strategy. So, what is it that they are going to achieve the end point? So, what is it for which they have been formed a team? Next is a team of individuals. So, in that case, we have so many team members. So, how to develop this team? So, we have a team, naturally, uh, it depends on the uh, topic or the work that is being assigned in that case. So, individuals, how to collect, how to make their, coordinate their team. The next step is establish and communicate the rules. So, they have to, it's not rules in the sense, it's not hard and fast rules, but we do have certain basic uh, requirements, what you call being in a team. Yes. So, primary is given to so we should not, uh, one should not, not really, one should not lose their temper and uh, one should be ready to accept then what others suggest. So these are certain basic uh, requirements for being a team member in a team. So these are Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Subalakshmi, so, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, your voice is breaking, ma'am. Think there is some network disturbance.
Dear yeah, participants, Balakshmi ma'am will join us soon. She has some network disturbance and we are very sorry for the inconvenience. Subhalakshmi, ma'am. Uh, 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 yes, ma'am, you can uh, continue, ma'am. I'll be presenting, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'll be presenting the slides, ma'am. You can just continue, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yes. Uh, so, friends. So, uh, here uh, uh, the next step that the students uh, uh, could uh, uh, gain is uh, monitoring performance. So, being in the team. They will be able to monitor. It can be self-assessment uh, uh, and also even their own teammates. So it, it is a very good opportunity for them to learn. Uh, so the next step that they go uh, get about is scheduled meetings. So how to? 
uh, manage time. Time management is very, very important. So that they uh, learn in the process of, uh, 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 that they learn, uh, they learn it as they are of the penalty. Uh, which just dissolve the team. Wow. So once uh, the meetings, once the uh, once what they want to achieve is uh, 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 fulfilled, so automatically uh, they, when they are uh, when they are having success, so naturally the team uh, is uh, uh, not the next day. Not next. Uh, now. Uh, what we see on the screen is advantages. So what are the advantages? We have been talking about the importance of team building, uh, how uh, things are uh, getting along and all that. So what are the basic advantages of this? That is, when a learner is put in a team, they will be able to identify their own strengths and weaknesses, which is very, very important for their career development. So the next step is, Directing towards a vision and mission. So uh, this applies to a workplace environment. So every institution or a corporate industry, they have their own vision and mission. So uh, this helps them. Even institution, when they are learners, the institution has a vision and mission. So they can correlate their uh, activities with respect to the achievement whether they meet the, the standards of the vision and vision of the institution. Next is how to develop communication and collaboration. So uh, this point, collaboration, I want to insist on this point, whether it's uh, team building is in other words, when we talk, uh, when we focus from the angle of uh, teaching methodology, it, it's So these two are highly essential, and these two are the uh, modern approaches. Of so very important for it. Next is establishing goals and responsibilities. That is, they need to understand their their responsibility. So how they can uh, prove themselves in a part of the team. Next is creative thinking, so problem solving, introducing and managing changes, facilitating dedication. All these is what leads to teaching. So, so are the very important advantages of being a team member, of being in a team, team building. This is what is in you. But what I want to tell uh, my uh, friends here is kindly carry over with the learner community because they should understand. My motive today, uh, my approach today on this topic is our responsibility lies in making them understand the importance of being in a team or team building. Uh, my next, next slide. Ma'am, ma'am, next is slide, ma'am. Ma'am, ma next is slide. Ma'am, I have changed it, ma'am. Ma is it visible, ma'am? Ma'am, is it visible, ma'am? Yes, ma'am, it's visible. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, at times your voice is bre breaking, ma'am. Can I just change please, the location? Please, ma'am. Yes, please. Yes. Okay. Now, ma'am, now can you hear me clearly? Yes, ma'am. At times only, ma'am. You, you can just continue, ma'am. You can just continue, ma'am. So, okay, ma'am. Okay, okay. So, a uh, few more advantages that we come across here. So more productivity, increased job satisfaction. These are all we need to uh, list out. We need to make uh, create an awareness. That is what I want to share here. 
uh, it is it is uh, our due responsibility is to make the students understand this is what is their requirement. They are uh, the corporates or the working environment that they are going to put themselves in future. These are the requirements of it. So uh, in that case. Uh, this is what they are going to achieve if they train themselves to be a part of the team, the right in the student. That is what uh, my uh, point here is. So in that case, it increases job satisfaction, quality of work, acceptance. So any change that occurs, the primary thing is acceptance. So this term acceptance is terribly defined. This is terribly lacking among, even among uh, not only students, uh, among uh, every individuals uh, in today's uh, world. So this acceptance is the primary requirement for any achievement. The next is commitment. So commitment, we have a goal and we have to achieve and we need to have a sense of commitment towards it. And low turnover, down work, uh, cordial relationship, motivation, all these we need to uh, make them understand the importance of this and certain disadvantages. Okay, now we keep talking about the advantages. So there are, of course, few disadvantages. That is lack of competence. This is at the initial level. That is few students, they lack competence. Yes. So in that case, they find themselves hesitant to be a part of the team. Unwillingness of management. Like all the people, all the uh, uh, on all individuals won't have the attitude of management. Uh, only few people have the attitude of managing uh, uh, management uh, quality. Few others they prefer to be a part of the team, not what they don't want to manage. So that the gap, uh, the gap that is a gap, and the political involvement, less training, not cooperative attitude. Uh, team conflict, lack of trust, and unions and all time delays. So these are all like uh, uh, certain disadvantages. Uh, it depends. Uh, and these disadvantages, it highly depends on the individual's uh, attitude. Every individual, they possess their own personal attitudes. So these attitudes, they determine whether they are going to make this teamwork advantageous or is it it is disadvantage for them. It is individual's concern. Uh, and next, ma'am. So what are these team building skills? So it empowers team members. It enhances uh, team members' self-confidence. And they are given the authority to complete. They have every member uh, are authoritative. And they have their own uh, way of appreciating each other's work. So appreciating others is very, very important quality. So this quality they develop uh, in the process of uh, team building. So this is very, very highly required. So here we could find a small diagrammatic representation of an effective team. So what are the requirements? Uh, the team members should be goal oriented. They should have good, co good communication here in the sense it doesn't confine to language. It confines to openness, is sharing, sharing of ideas, sharing of uh, views, uh, their uh, suggestions at all, support, supporting each other, supporting their group, I mean, the peer teams, what you call. So, balanced to do. So, there, there should not be any uh, uh, biased uh, 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 attitude amongst the members. They, they should have an unbiased state of mind and the listening skills. So, one should be, one should develop the quality of patience to listen their own uh, team members, respect each other's uh, views, uh, reliability. So they should rely on their trust. So uh, these are the uh, basic requirements uh, for forming an effective team. Uh, uh, the next uh, diagrammatic representation, which you could find here is, uh, we could take it as, uh, this is considered as a program. Uh, in what way this is, is you could find here the first uh, to the uh, left top corner. First is communication. So when we use communication is a broader term. 
right? So when we use the term communication, what are the sub terms, I mean, the subdivisions, what are those that comprises communication? In that is non-verbal. So all the body languages, then public speaking, verbal, critical feedback, listening. So these five skills put together is what forms communication. Yes, friends. The next is creativity. When we talk about creativity, three skills that is required. Flexibility, risk-taking, innovation. So this is very, very important. Unless they have the... Uh, they, they dire for risk taking, uh, taking risk. So creativity doesn't happen, innovation doesn't happen, and for and this, uh, the basic thing is flexibility. They need to be flexible. So we need to make the learners understand this. So the next is what we have here is credibility. So credibility is trust, trust amongst each other's reliable. So they should have social values a team values what you call willingness to learn so they should have open minded so they should be open to learn whatever that comes from the uh, group members open to learn accept acceptance next is what we have is collaboration so what are those skills that forms collaboration so negotiation skills so cooperation conflict resolution and problem solving so these is what put together forms the broad term collaboration. So uh, as you come across here, the 21st century skills. So uh, how to stay in a competitive uh, changing job market. Today's job market demands enormous skills from, the, from their employees. So the basic is learning skill, literacy skill, life skill. So this is what the major category that you come across. When you talk about learning skill, they need to, every employer expects their employees to be, uh, uh, to have to possess the skill, critical thinking. Next, creativity, collaboration, communication. So this is uh, highly uh, expected. Next is literacy. So when we talk about literacy, information, media, technology, so these is what updation of all these is what is uh, expected. Next is life skills. Excuse me, ma'am. Subalakshmi, ma'am.
Dear participants and research person, you join us soon. We are sorry for the inconvenience. Subalakshmi ma'am, can I hear me ma'am? Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, we are not able to hear you, ma'am. Subalakshmi ma'am.
dear, dear participants or resource person will join us soon. Uh, she has some network disturbances and we are very sorry for the inconvenience caused to the Ma'am, can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Uh, we can hear you now. Sorry, sorry, sorry so much. Today I'm facing a little problem. Sorry. No issues, ma'am. You can just continue, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Sorry, friends, sorry. Uh, uh, yes, friends. Uh, the next uh, uh, category that the uh, uh, job market expects from the student, uh, the learner is, uh, life skills. So this term is very popular uh, uh, in today's environment, the globalized environment, I should say. So in that case, I was, I think, I was talking about initiative. Yes, uh, students uh, uh, they lack these initiative skills. Uh, this, uh, this, this, uh, they can overcome when they are put up in a team. Next, productivity, so social skills. So this is what the job market demands in today's. Uh, 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 scenario. Uh, the next uh, yes. So here, what you come across, what we could see here on the screen is Chapman stages of team development. So he categorizes, uh, he discounts four stages. So forming, storming, norming, and performing. So forming is how to form, how to form together a team, how to form a team. Storming is. So uh, uh, teamwork is difficult than, so uh, they should understand, it is something like uh, uh, brainstorming, what we say, uh, that is they have to discover, uh, students should be trained to discover that teamwork is not uh, a cakewalk. Uh, it is uh, something that is difficult, but uh, it, it has its own merits. It's norming us how to, go beyond the storming uh, stage and uh, form a team and function as a team that is very very important functioning as a team is very important than forming a team next is the team is now functioning as a high performance yes so this is very important next now next slide now uh, with respect to students college students so we have four categories here, steps here, what you call attitude of collaboration, leadership, communication, so conflict. Again, we could find only the repetitive points here. And when you talk about collaboration projects, so projects, group projects, team projects, it plays a major role with co curricular activities. So it, this develops a sort of positive attitude and a collaborative attitude among the fellow students. Next is leadership. So leadership is they need to assert themselves. So they need to understand when a person is, has uh, taken up the role of uh, leadership, he or she understands uh, their uh, new responsibility. So the commitment. So uh, this uh, ultimately changes their outlook. Communication, the interpersonal skills, confidence, sharing of ideas, listening. So again, these all forms. Conf is like ideas so different perspective different ideas so how to consider without hurting them how to respectfully handle the conflict so this is again what they require when they are put up in a working environment and next slide ma'am uh, we have a question here uh, teamwork skills in higher education so is university training contributing to their mastery so coming to the syllabus so thus the syllabus that we have these days thus uh, those topics or whatever we follow does it contribute to the mastery level of the students next name So universities, they only provide ideal environment for them to develop. So this is not something to be taught. Team building is not the, the basic uh, understanding should be there to the students. The team building is not uh, a skill that need to be taught and learned. It is something that need to be learned from their own experiences. 
uh, so we are only creating as teachers are only facilitators our role begins to create a learning environment for them we create a learning environment and make them understand so this is what the institution's role lies and these skills can be fostered from formal instruction curriculum and non formal so when we talk about formal so all the education institutions organizations they insist they promote from the teamwork programs and teachers in turn we include these skills to design our subjects so all the topics that we have that we teach we can think about like how to make this topic uh, how to teach this topic in the class uh, uh, so that the learners acquire additional skills apart from the knowledge they gain from the topic uh, this lies in our innovation that is what innovation teaching so we need to be innovative at all instances we uh, teaching fraternity uh, so this is actually micro teaching model which we are all familiar with these days so project based learning so these are all like we throw them options so these all students are not happy. but what we do is we throw them options uh, we give them these options saying yes these are all going to hit you come on uh, take up any one and try to fix yourself accordingly so these sort of choices and options makes them to be choosy at the same time uh, to equip themselves competitively. Next one. So uh, main uh, types. So we have a few types of team building activities. So trust building, communication, problem solving, decision making, adaptability, like based on that the one that is that they are going to achieve, activities need to be designed so that uh, they gain knowledge at the same time. Uh, they do it in a very casual way, not in a very serious manner. They do it with something is done through activities. It is a casual way of doing it. So this we make them understand. Next, ma'am. And so how to lead a team? So uh, team building, somebody should be there. Any uh, uh, person should take the lead of the team. So how to lead? Uh, we need to make them clear about it. So leaders' mindset. So setting up a team to get results, they need to list out, they need to have a checklist, like what are they going to achieve and create a culture of feedback their own among themselves. They can create the a culture of uh, feedback and uh, leading the team effectively, time managing the time, so working up uh, uh, efficiently. So these are all certain uh, uh, points that the team uh, leader, uh, lead, person who leads team lead to list out so that accordingly he can mold, he can shape, uh, group the uh, members of the team. So, uh, team building. What is this team building for students? And next. So, these are all like uh, activities that are game based and they are designed for working only towards uh, a common goal. They should be only as a group. Uh, they cannot be, uh, this cannot be done as an individual activity. So, this uh, they, they need to make themselves clear, aware of them. So uh, the examples, few examples that we can uh, talk about these activities is uh, escape games, team trivia, certain uh, activities we will come across in the next slides. So mystery games, cooking, these are just uh, very, uh, 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 very uh, casual uh, activities. I have got certain uh, uh, activities which are really challenging, challenging, which you could come across in the conservative slides. And next one. Uh, so why are they important? Why these teamwork skills are important for the students? So social skills, self-confidence. So happier. The first thing is the sound mind uh, leads to achievement. So they can, they should be uh, very uh, relaxed so this helps them to be relaxed 
so uh, life lessons it teaches life lessons so which are all very very important at the student level the next one objectives so what are the, we need to make them understand what are the objectives of being with the students we need to understand so uh, when they enter into the job market so they should uh, promote the company values they should create avenues for the innovative ideas entrepreneurship and the internal communications proper streamlining of internal communication improving customer standards customers relationship so uh, uh, boosting uh, negotiation skill so these are all the qualities that need to be achieved so uh, this is what the focus of a team should be this uh, the next is pillars uh, like uh, uh, as as uh, a building a, a, a strong building uh, highly depends only on the pillars of uh, pillars that holds the building so likewise what are those pillars that holds a team which is very very important see uh, see friends the first point is trust so mutual trust is very very important so whatever the this, uh, the uh, what do you call the misunderstandings or the gaps it will be the new differences and the gaps will arise so how to resolve next is how to increase commitment be accountable for whatever you are accountable here doesn't mean monetary alone uh, it implies the other side also so we need to be accountable for whatever we do and ultimately these all leads only to reset success so this need to be made clear to the students why and the purpose of doing all this next one Ma'am, so uh, this we can make our students understand. Like this uh, helps them uh, to know other students, their own uh, uh, friends in the uh, classroom. So it is something like a fun and unique way. So uh, you, you, it helps them to step outside of their comfort zone. It is very very important. Because everybody, every one of us, we have our own comfort zone. So we need to break that comfort zone and move out of the comfort zone. So this team building, it is a very good opportunity for students to come out of their comfort zone. Because unless we come out, move out of comfort zone, we will not grow. So this we need to make them clear. Uh, so uh, this paves way for new connections, new friendships. So we get acquainted with different people. So all these should be understood. And as a leader, uh, we help them meet and get to know different people. So when we get along with activities, we need to get mixed with different sorts of people. So how to handle people is really important. That is what we call public relations. So we could find here we can even correlate our learners with a particular department by name PRO, public relations office in all government, I mean uh, public sector uh, organization. So in all public sector organizations, there is a separate department by name PRO. Public relations office, public relations office. So, what is the need of it? So, we need to make them understand, we need to educate them the importance of PR. Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, ma'am. Jayalakshmi, ma'am. Jayalakshmi, ma'am. Can I share the screen, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Can I share the screen? Ma'am? Uh, I'm able to view the slides now, ma'am? Yes, 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 I can, I can, I can. 
so uh, i i wish to uh, uh, share with my friends here two of the team building activities here we have an activity by name trivia so this is hosting an event that is it's a way to bring people together who don't know each other i mean who don't know one uh, each other and we, we get into a common activity so this can happen randomly and they we can uh, uh, make the people uh, get connected with them who they have it with them. so uh, make a, uh, a short uh, note or a short uh, uh, speech about the person whom you have met uh, for the first time so this is a small question that would be posed for which they work on this next one uh, next is back to back drawing. So this activity is actually like imagine uh, people, ma'am. Before slide, before slide, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. This, this, this. No, no. Next, next. Yes, yes, yes. This. Uh, this is actually this back to back drawing is an activity that encourages communication of uh, students. That is, they sit back to back, and one student will be having a piece of paper, and uh, the other student will have a blank paper. And this person who is holding a paper, uh, they, he will have a small, he or she will have a small picture, and the person who sits on the other side, this person should describe like uh, the various uh, features of the picture. So based on that hearing, the other person should try to draw based on the description. We can have a timer set and uh, for a few minutes and then come back. So this uh, naturally brings laughter and also they get connected uh, to one another, like understanding the way this uh, activity is basically to understand the wavelength of one another. Next, next time. Uh, next is one sentence to. So this uh, uh, great act, this activity is uh, to make the students talk. We can talk with one sentence and uh, go around the group, and every sent every student can add a sentence. So that the story continues, and towards the end, one student can uh, recite the whole story. So this will be very interesting. This will be very interesting activity. Next one. So uh, activities, these uh, team building is not only for the corporate works. So this is, is applies even in the institution. In what way is because we have so many events and so many uh, uh, what we call uh, uh, competitions that held that is being held in uh, institutions. So in order to uh, maintain all those, students should develop the quality of team building. So we need to make them understand. So awkward situation, they doesn't have to involve in any awkward situation, engaging themselves. So with activities, it helps them uh, to a newer uh, learning process. Next one. Ma'am? Ma'am, next slide. So by accomplishing this task, ma'am, before before slide, ma'am. Ma'am? Yes, 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 this one. So uh, in uh, no 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 next next. Yes, 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 please. So they learn to listen, they need to trust. No, ma'am, before slide. Yes, 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 this one, this one. So while developing this, ultimately. They learn how to get along with the peers, and it is not something they can pick up from their own memorization. And uh, the skills that cannot be learned from textbook or any normal interaction is the one that learn that is being learned through team building. So this we need to make our learners understand. Next, ma'am. Um, yes. Uh, fun leadership activity. So this is adding some fun and levity. So it helps them to build informal connections, so informal conversation, so which is very, very important. 
case. So because let, let us not go formally, let us make them learn in an informal situation, which is only then learning happens. Because for us, only learning is important. So let them learn uh, in an informal setting. Is my next man? So this is another activity, idea building blocks, where we can have a group of five to ten members. So we can divide a class into teams, present them with a, with a problem. So related to, it can be even related to course material, they can analyze the course material and one team will write a solution and pass the sheets to the next team. So they can put their suggestion there. And this the paper is being uh, passed till we get a, a concrete solution. So this is one way of uh, developing, I mean, making them to develop their uh, ideas, build their uh, innate skills. What is it that they expect? So this, this is one of uh, one of the good activities. So all these activities which I have uh, uh, used in scenario. There are many activities. There are many activities if we uh, use this, uh, if we uh, talk about this uh, uh, team building. But few activities which I picked up are the one that is relevant to our Indian scenario. Yes, yes, next ma'am. Ma'am, next is it's a concentric circle. So this is a, a heavy group of twenty students. So where we have outer circle and inner circle. Right, so each student from inner circle will be paired with the outside uh, circle student and they face each other and they pose a question to the whole group. Right, and uh, after three or five minutes, uh, students on the outside circle they will move uh, uh, to the right and uh, uh, they will uh, be in front of the next student. So, posing a question and process it keeps repeated. So, exposing to different perspectives. So, this it keeps like a mobile, uh, it keeps moving. So, concentric. So, how well they are able to uh, understand and expose. Uh, this quality could be achieved here. Is next, ma'am. Next is absurd question. So we can pose a, a out, uh, pose an uh, outrageous or fantastic or any fictitious statement, and uh, they can be asked to uh, uh, find it. So, for example, we have a, a, a statement here. What if everyone lived to one fifty? So it is a concept. Uh, it can be it can be viewed as a concept. What will happen if every individual in the world, if the universe, starts to live up to the age of one fifty? So let them develop. This is something that won't happen. But evolution. So how it affects, you know, there will, there will not be anything as evolution. So let them think about how this affects politically, socially, economically, psychologically, various angles. So let them think about these absurd questions. So these all these all activities, it kindles, it kindles them to think more. So this is the main purpose of giving this sort of activities to think, make them think. Yes, next ma'am. Now next. So next is so a concept or a topic that the students receive. Uh, they divide into small groups and ask the question like, how did this impact this uh, particular concept? It impact our prior knowledge. Every topic that we come across, we may be having. Every one of us, we may have prayer knowledge of it. So how does this lecture or the concept or the topic impact our prayer knowledge? Yes. So how did we react to it? So how was our experience, the personal connections we had? So these sort of uh, uh, activities, I mean, uh, thinking uh, could be, uh, uh, it could be done by the students. Yes, ma'am? Next ma'am. So next is again the next one that we have here. Uh, this discussion. Uh, this is uh, make it personal. Uh, 
uh, it is uh, uh, like uh, this activity helps the students to connect uh, to a post concept and uh, uh, this uh, they consider they can even uh, consider the question how can this idea be combined with our uh, presumptions or to create a new uh, uh, comprehensive understanding so such sort of questions could be posed so that uh, students can think beyond a particular subject so that is very very uh, important next uh, so the highest value uh, uh, that the employers uh, viewers to soft skills they, they value only soft skills so what are these that is required for up their employees so the integrity communication courtesy social skills all these that you come across all these is what put together they call it under the grant uh, name soft skill so this is what is acquired in the process of team building so uh, this one uh, building activity pays way for so many for acquiring so many skills from the learners is yes, ma'am next ma'am so uh, when we talk about uh, curricular uh, subjects or extracurricular these have proven over the years these are proven to be highly effective so for teamwork skills and they should be promoted and inculcated into included and uh, these days not students are much involved in extracurricular they are very narrow minded they are very bookworm like so uh, this should be they should come out they should break it and come out of it so this we need to our responsibility is high here being faculty we need to make them understand make them understand and take part in as many uh, courses or extracurricular or co curricular uh, that is possible so that these uh, pains way for indirectly they subconsciously or unconsciously leads to team building so they can acquire develop these curricular academic university like even free time activities could be done uh, uh, so uh, it has been observed that extracurricular activities they have proven positive impact so teamwork skill uh, the term teamwork skill uh, uh, acquisition of the skill uh, could be uh, through extracurricular activities and it is being proven over the years and university students they acquire this when they engage themselves in sports volunteering any art and design long term workshops so organizing workshops seminars conferences so these are team work so uh, we uh, give them training we see we teach we faculty we give them hands on training we don't teach any theory we go directly giving them training so this should be understood from the side of the students so we need to make them understand so participating in any musical activities multidisciplinary experiences volunteering team work groups from the international work groups so better team work so these are all they it uh, develops better team work skills is so we need to make them understand the benefits of this that is what is important they don't know because uh, their age uh, is only on a focused uh, viewpoint so it is up to us to make them understand yes this is what you are going to do if you are interpreting come on work on it involving those everybody when any event is being organized it indirectly develops the quality of team skill be a team member working so amongst them next snap ma'am yes so this is a very uh, beginning uh, beginner level uh, uh, activity so this is uh, uh, tell about yourself is a beginner level activity but this question is the one which is very important in all the interviews uh, in all the interviews uh, if we uh, come across this frequently asked interview questions the first question that we come across is tell about yourself so we keep, the students may think it to be very simple question is not so so how they are going to make themselves presentable is very very important so each 
uh, role. Each person has their own role to be played. So this they need to understand. Yes, there are no rules, but they need to talk so that whatever qualities or whatever competency they possess should be brought out. How they make themselves present. Next, ma'am. So what makes a good team? Like we have a machine, a machine that is very oil is only the one that runs faster and performance level is high. In the same way, a good team is something like a very oil machine. So where uh, it should have a good communication among the team members, they have a common focus to a goal, they have a, a common result oriented uh, hard work, and everyone participates equally and enthusiastically. This is very, very important. Equal contribution. So, equal contribution is very, very important. Next, ma'am. Next, next. Next, we have slide. So we're coming to this higher education institutions. So higher education institutions, they highlight the necessity of both hard skills and soft skills. So what is this hard skill? The ethical knowledge, the experience that they possess for the required job. And soft skill is what is highly required in order to perform themselves uh, outcome as a, as, a, uh, uh, as a competent person. So in that case, the interpersonal skills, the personal attributes, so all those skills that we come across are all soft skills, so which, are, which is given equal weight in higher education institutions. So this is considered as an excellent complement to traditional hard skills. Team building skill is considered as an excellent complement to traditional hard skill. And this plays a significant role in the current day scenario because there is a terrible lack of consensus. That is, we could find many students, though they possess hard skills, they terribly lack soft skills. They go for exclusive training. So after they complete their studies, they go for training. But uh, we can make the students understand that such training is not essential if they actively participate in the classroom. So this we need to make them understand. Next month, it's, so studies, there are so many studies that are being designed to observe these work, and this should consider all the studies. So the basic thing that need to be taken into consideration is the country's social and cultural context. Because socio-cultural features they determine individual's behavior. So an individual, attitude of an individual, behavior of an individual, these two highly depends on the country's social and cultural background. So this should be taken into uh, consideration whenever we design a team work. And next. So this had been gain, gaining close attention because it is considered a very essential competency in a globalized, dynamic, and complex world. Because today's companies, all the corporate industry, they expect only this because no work is done as an individual work in, today, in today's scenario. So everything is only a teamwork. So in that case, individuals should be uh, uh, should have the attitude to fix themselves in a team. So new employees are asked if they have teamwork skills. So it is highly uh, the a basic requirement in any corporate industry. So they can resolve specific work issues. They have the required skills, handle the challenges posed by their own competitive uh, uh, industry. So all these uh, are essential only when they possess teamwork skills. So this is what is expected from any employee, from a new employee in today's uh, uh, job market. So uh, next now, yes. So uh, uh, friends, uh, as we uh, have come across over, now I just want to just uh, 
uh, just uh, a few lines about my personal opinion on this. That is, we have come across so many. Uh, but uh, you can post me a question like, ma'am, is it possible to uh, achieve all this in a classroom? But what I would wish to suggest is, so irrespective of uh, arts and science college or an engineering college, this is possible only when we have an exclusive training class every week. So uh, as, the, as we get along with the timetable, so I would, uh, I feel personally, I personally feel that uh, only when we have an exclusive placement and training class, it as a part as the part of the timetable so every week one or two classes one or two classes could be allotted so that all these that we came across right now could be concentrated exclusively one full class so that there will be a balanced state right from the first semester they enter into the college so this is what my personal suggestion is i don't know whether this is being followed in uh, uh, many institutions but unless or otherwise strenuous efforts has been taken by the institution side think about it and take steps so that they could be made as they read the other subjects this is a training class that they undergo right from the first semester they naturally when they come to the final semester 